All right, good morning, guys. Today we're gonna be doing something a little different, something I've yet to do on this channel, and that is a book review. And the two books in question are right here before me, Automate the Boring Stuff with Python uh, by Al Swigart, Swigert, forgive me if I'm butchering that name, and then Python Crash Course by Eric Maths, Math, I don't know. Either way, two excellent books for uh, Python beginners. I have used them both extensively um, in my time. And uh, I guess I'll just start with which one should you use? If you're a total beginner, you know nothing about Python, and you're just getting into it, um, I would say you can't go wrong with either one. Both are excellent. Um, so really, whatever you prefer. But I'll go ahead and point out some differences um, that might help you make that selection for yourself. And starting with Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, sorry for my shaky hand here. Um, you can see it's well-worn. I've used this one quite a bit. Um, so this book is really, really great. And it's not that old, it's the second edition. And the copyright, I believe, is 20... 2020. So it's not too deprecated, and most of this code still runs in more modern versions of Python. Um, what I will say about this book is I prefer um, Al Swigert's syntax style. I think the first half of the book, where he's teaching you the fundamentals of Python in terms of data, data types, lists, strings, integers, booleans, uh, for loops, while loops, arrays, dictionaries, um, I really like his style of syntax. I like the way he writes his code over Eric Maths. Um, and this is where I learned most of my Python syntax. And it's, it, the way he writes his code is the way I tend to see it in more uh, wild environments, so to speak. And uh, so the first half, which is just, you know, the fundamentals is is great. I think it excels over Python Crash Course in the first half. Um, it's it's really good, really detailed. Lots of cool tricks like list comprehension, enumeration. Um, it gets pretty advanced while still being comprehensible for beginners, and it's just great all around. Now, where I feel like it lacks is the second half. The second half of this book um, deals with more, the projects that it has towards the back are more, um, I guess, suited to people who are interested in maybe data science. A lot of the projects are things like web scraping, uh, manipulating Excel, spreadsheets, um, stuff like that. Um, so, and that stuff's not really fun. It's not really the kind of stuff I like to make. On the other hand, with Python Crash Course, the, the first section of the book, the syntax style is fine. It's not lacking. It's just, I feel like it's, there are just some things that he does or the way he does things that I feel like Eric Maas does better. And not in a huge way. They're both valid, totally valid. I just am more biased to uh, um, Al Swigart's syntax style. That's all. But this one is just fine. It's just as great. But where Python Crash Course is better is the second half, and that is the projects. There's a lot of awesome projects in here that I think beginners would have way more fun building. There's a section on how to use Pygame and make video games. There's this really cool uh, alien invasion, like um, Space Invaders type game. That's really cool and a great way to get familiar with classes and the Pygame library. And then towards the end... There's an awesome section on Python Django for those of you interested in web development. And I think for a lot of beginners, web dev is a great place to start on your programming journey. And this section, man, has been, I can't even tell you how priceless this information has been. I mean, he tells you how to set up, you know, your virtual environment, get Django installed, uh, and even how to launch it using Heroku. Uh, he gets into details about templating, inheritance. Um, I mean, it's it's really awesome. Um, he tells you how to create users, admin, um, secure the website. So um, the projects in the second half of this book are excellent for anybody who really wants like a hands-on approach to programming. 
So, with that being said, what should you get? Well, that's up to you and what you're trying to accomplish. Either way, both books are excellent. Thanks for listening. You guys have a good one.